The new Immigration Minister, Erica Stanford, says she expects officials to investigate after News Hub revealed disturbing allegations of underpaid Indian security workers. The workers also claim they paid thousands to overseas agents to get work visas here, and Stanford says she's now considering law changes to the visa they enter the country on. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has the story. Chetan Kuma isn't shy about flaunting his luxury rides. Rolling in a yellow Lamborghini on the Auckland motorway, he featured in a 2019 promotional video for an Indian rap star. While Kuma, the director of security firm Seal Security, appears cashed up, his workers say it's been the opposite for them. In fact, they say they were underpaid. I asked him many times, just pay me as per my contract, but he did nothing and uh, he didn't pay me as per my contract. Pihar freelance film designer Gavin McLean first met the men in March, standing in the rain with no toilets or shelter during security at road closures. Um, I couldn't stand do nothing. He brought them food, tea, organised port loos and helped them contact a union. Um, some have been near to tears discussing breach of contracts, the treatment by seal security. The men also claim they paid thousands to overseas agents. News Hub has audio of an agent discussing seal security and asking a worker's family member for thousands. Potential client or, or the migrant worker's family member was uh, being asked to deposit or, or hand over in cash around 40,000 New Zealand dollars, which is horrific. The minister says her expectation is that officials investigate. My expectation after the story is certainly if there, there wasn't already something underway, then there will be now. Chetan Kuma denies knowledge of thousands being paid to agents and denies underpaying the men, but he admitted deducting wages for things like lawyer fees, immigration fees, rent and uniforms. Kuma says this was agreed to verbally but not in writing. The legislation is clear, employers can deduct where it is required by law or the deduction is for a lawful purpose. Written consent is required. The men came here on the poorly monitored accredited employer work visa. A review into this visa category is due out next month, but so far 130 employers have had their accreditation revoked. 42 have had it suspended and there are 174 active investigations. The Minister says she's now considering law changes. I think that there are some parts of the policy that we can change and tighten and that is the advice that I've asked for. So talk of big changes to policy settings to try and halt misery like this. Michael Mora, News Hub.